Well, I'm back out west on a contract shoot again. This time we're running a team of three. There'll be two shooters and one driver. There's lots of pigs about. Should make for an eventful few nights. Which one are you gonna take? Okay. Ready when you are? Yep. On three? Yep. One, two, three. Good sized sow, nice and fat, eating all the sorghum. Good shot placement. Very healthy pigs. We've just busted two pigs over this embankment behind me and they've been fighting for the last few minutes. So I've got some subsonics in the 308. I'm just gonna crest that bank, set the tripod up. And the plan is to try and take them out without scaring anything else. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot more than two, and I'm now out of MO. This was pretty interesting. Nathan and I just walked around this contour bank. He was a little bit higher and further around the bend than me. And I thought we were looking at the same two pigs, but he was looking at a pig about 80 metres further to the left and a fox. So we did the countdown. His pig was on the trot. Uh, he got both the pig and the fox, and I got these two pigs. Propped him up for a couple of photos. Not a bad sized boar, pretty happy with that actually. Well there's an absolute shit ton of ruse about. I don't know where all the pigs have gone. Well, it's been a bit quiet out on the crops for the last couple of hours. So we've come over to this stand of timber. It's not very big, but it's very dense and it's right on the edge of the cropping fields. It's about 300 metres by 300 metres, I think. And Nathan and I are gonna go for a stroll through it. We're going to be about 100 metres apart and for safety we will just turn our red head torches on so that we can see where the other person is and make sure we've got a safe shooting angle if we stumble upon any pigs. We're going to be running the thermal only and we're not going to be able to see more than about 15 to 20 metres. We've got the 308s, subsonics. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to be honest with you. Uh, we're expecting there'd be quite a few pigs held up in the area and if we do stumble upon any it's going to be pretty fast and furious action. So time to get prepared, take a deep breath and go for a walk. So we're just walking through this thick vegetation, scanning with the thermal. Hopefully we'll put up a few pigs. Well, finally, I've got about three quarters of the way through this timber. My heart is racing. I bumped into this mob, they were asleep at about 15 metres. Quickly threw the tripod up and waited for the first one to present a shot. Got a few out of it, but um, yeah, it was pretty wild. That was fun. So we were just driving down one of the tracks, having a scan with the 
thermal roof mount and here's this mob of pigs running along the edge of the track. Dennis raced down, just got in front of them. They didn't know where to go or what to do. Nathan and I jumped out, grabbed the tripods and got stuck right into them. Have a go at this. And yes, Nathan did just shoot the top wire of the fence. Just walking through the cotton field. It's only about 50 metres from a sorghum crop. And it's amazing the amount of pigs we've seen come out of the sorghum and go into the cotton. Nothing to eat, as you can see. I don't know why they're coming in here. It must just be warmer than over in the sorghum. Pretty cool though. We spotted these pigs about a kilometre from the car. So Nathan and I walked in. It took us about 20 minutes, constantly checking on the way down. But it was definitely worthwhile. Well, that was effective. We ended up getting that whole mob. Some well-timed shooting after a long walk in and uh, no missed shots. So, entire mob cleaned up. We'll go in and have a sticky beak. Well, a little bit of carnage there. Quite messy. Well-placed shot with the 308, just behind the ear. Bloody big sow. Couple of good pigs actually. Another sow, barren sow. Just a solid, I'm a good tucker. Oh, a graphic little mister over here. On the way back to the car, these two pigs popped out and I had a crack at them freehand. Got the first one. And I got the second one. I'll go the middle one. Yeah, One of the hazards of shooting in the dark had a very, very close call there. And we ended up in the shoot with the tripod. We'd driven past this fox twice already, third time, unlucky for him. Being a contract shoot, our priority was to get pigs on the ground this trip, not to worry about the video footage. We managed to get a little bit of video, but um, it didn't quite reflect the amount of pigs that were actually shot over the three nights. We ended up with 38 on the first two nights and finished off with a huge 92 on the last night. So 130 for the trip. The farmers are very happy with our results 
and we'll be back up there in a couple of weeks to do it all over again. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to catching up with you again soon.